Hey there, it's me, it's you, it's us. So hopefully you're in the mood for a late night video. And if not, that's okay. Hopefully you'll be in the mood for a video whenever you watch it. <laughs> so I just kind of felt like making a video. I got two cute little outfits from the UK and I wanted to change little miss thing over here this is leah she's a full body silicone isn't she just adorable she's amazing um she has a drink and wet system that i never use i need to take advantage of that i've tried it once but yeah anyway she's great um i'm gonna step over my cord <laughs> and grab this outfit and I'm also working on borrowed time you guys because my phone is on less than 10% so I could have charged my phone but I was really in the mood to just go for it and make a video so what's probably gonna happen is it's gonna die and I'm gonna be rambling on not even notice so let's hope that doesn't happen because I haven't been making videos too, too often, um, but we are going to change Little Miss Leah. So I got two outfits from this cute little shop um, in the UK called Roxy and Rue, but I, for some reason, bought the same outfit in different colors. It's the same print. So I thought we would try them on and then you guys help me pick which one I should keep and then I'm gonna sell the other one. And then I wanted to have a kind of discussion about the freaking Reborn hobby, you know, as a whole, because there are so many destructive things happening that uh, it's just killing the vibe for me. And I wanna see if it is for you guys because I'm an artist and I've noticed a lot of things that are happening to this hobby are kind of killing my creativity as an artist, but I'm also a collector and I kind of feel it's affecting that as well for me. Um, and you know, it's not to say I don't have a lot going on. My life right now, whew, it is bonkers. It is really crazy. I have so much going on. Um, let me scoot back over here. Sorry. All right. Um, yeah, I have a lot going on in my life. So, of course, that has a lot to do with my interaction in this hobby. But basically, there's so many things. There are... Well, first, let's talk about the reborn market. I mean, our economy is crazy if you're in the U.S. And I'm sure in other parts of the world, it's the same, where it is so difficult now to make ends meet for people, no matter what their situation is. I mean, even if someone is doing well and able to be independently wealthy, I'm sure that even those people are concerned and they're having to readjust. I mean, the whole thing with the economy changing like this is that Everyone has to readjust their budget, you know, because we all spend so much on necessities and luxuries, no matter who we are. We all have a budget for those things. Some are bigger for luxury items. Some budgets are smaller, but we all have to adjust, right? Because now necessities are requiring a lot more of our budget. This outfit is a tad tight because it is a preemie size, but she has an interesting body shape where sometimes she fits like preemie. It's tight on her, but you know, I just want to see this on her. So anyway, so there's that. And of course, the reason I'm bringing that up 
is because of the impact we currently have on the market in the reborn community. It is like the worst selling market. Well, I don't want to say the worst I've ever seen because I've only been around for almost three years, not very long. But I'm telling you, when I came into this hobby, like it was crazy. Babies were flying off the shelves everywhere. So as a collector, it was so hard to get your hands on a baby because, well, it wasn't hard. There was just, there was just as many choices, if not less choices than there is now. And they, they sold like crazy. So you kind of had to make decisions pretty quickly, you know? Um, yeah. So that was happening when I first entered this hobby. And then it was just, it was awesome. Like I became an artist and I, even when I was really, really new, I couldn't even keep a baby. I think the longest I had a baby for sale was like four days and I was freaking out. I was like, okay, I don't know what's happening, but I don't have the mojo anymore. I can't sell anymore. What's going on? And that was even affecting me and my confidence as an artist. Four days, you guys, four freaking days. So now, artists, we have dolls for sale that are sitting for months. I feel like people are buying either really extravagant dolls from well-known artists, or they're buying more budget-friendly dolls per se. I don't know, you know, it's either one or the other. Like, it's either, I want to get my hands on something that's cheap enough or I want to get the best of the best and splurge. So that middle ground is really wishy-washy for artists and collectors. It's like, unless there's something really great that catches the eye or the photography is excellent, I guess what I'm trying to say is that middle ground where there's artists who are not as new all the way up to pretty experienced, but not necessarily super well-known, super coveted prototype artists. We're struggling and it's really killing the vibe. So that's one issue that's happening in the market. Look how cute this is, you guys. See how she has little elephants on the outfit. So as you can see, it's kind of tight on her, but it works. Like I don't mind the tightness. So I'm going to try the other one on really fast. And you guys tell me which one I should keep and which one I should sell. Okay. So anyway, um, the other issue that has been happening and getting worse and worse and worse is the scammer situation. Um, I think that we are so concerned with counterfeits and I get that like that's a really hot topic that's a really incredible detriment to the authenticity of this hobby but you know what's sliding through the cracks all the scammers and when I say scammers I'm talking about people um, who are stealing photos of dolls from other artists and claiming they have the doll and they are scamming people out of their money it's happening so blatantly, so much more than ever before since I've been in the hobby, then I'm telling you, some of the admins in these groups don't even catch it. That's a huge problem because we, you know, we have more and more outsiders coming in every single day into this hobby, which is awesome. But our reputation um, in this community as a whole and the hobby as a whole is really, really dirty right now. When you combine the scammer situation, when you combine the issues with the counterfeit kits and, you know, all of that, you're looking at, you know, a hobby that's tainted. Like people are coming in and I see every single day someone saying, I'm so discouraged Okay, let me see if I can get this. These, these, uh, hold on. 
it's so tight here on the feet. Anyway, people are coming in and saying, I'm so discouraged. I'm new here. I'm thinking of just forgetting about this. I've been scammed three times already. How do I not get scammed? Just imagine that you're really excited about a hobby and you know, like you're ready to make your first purchase and you're so excited. And then what happens? You get scammed out of hundreds of dollars, not once, but twice or three times. That's crazy. So that's an issue that I think no other mark, like no other industry or hobby that I know of has as much scamming as we do. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. So there's that. And okay, this one seems like maybe tighter or I just put it on a little more awkwardly. Here we go. Scoot your butt. She's also wearing a cloth diaper that's they tend to be a little more poofy, so that doesn't help, but look how cute. So what do you guys think? Should I keep this one or should I keep this one? It's so hard for me to decide. Not a big deal, but whichever one I don't keep, I will be selling the other. Um, not to mention like all the vitriol and bickering and fighting that's happening among collectors, artists, it's getting so out of hand. Like the magic of this hobby has been really depleted. It feels like a drama community now, you know? It's like, oh, it's terrible. Um, so there's those things. Then the Genesis heat set paints, which I've lightened on the severity of that. I was really worried when I found out Genesis heat set paints were not going to be produced anymore because that's what I use. And I heard that the other alternatives in heat set are not comparable. And I also heard that air dry is, you know, I don't want to say not comparable, but it's just a completely different way of painting and um, the health benefits from doing air dry is definitely a plus, but I don't want to use air dry. I mean, if I'm forced into it, I guess I will. I have plenty of paint, but the thing with the paint too, you guys is like, I have a ton of paint. I will not lie to you, but there are certain colors as artists that we use often, you know, and some of those colors, like if we run out of one of those colors, then we're going to be freaking out. <laughs> like, and it's not like you can't achieve a beautifully painted baby without crimson red or mint green or blah, blah, blah. Right. But I know I have some special colors in my arsenal that I cannot do without. And I can mix primary colors to get close to those, but I can't get them exactly. However, if you have primary colors, you're kind of set because you can make a ton of colors with those. I mean, you can do that. So I guess it's not as detrimental as we kind of thought in the beginning, but on the other hand, I'm still worried about it. The paint issue is another thing kind of bringing us down, you guys. And then um, there's so much. I mean, right before, we were having major economy issues in the market and the reborn hobby was really getting bad. It was already getting bad because new artists were coming out and they were selling for what mid-level artists sold for. So mid-level artists had to up their prices. Guess what happened? <laughs> yep, my phone died, but that's okay because, um, oh, you guys know Luna Theodore, Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. My, my little fur babies want to join us. Anyway, it's totally fine that my phone died because I needed a breather. <laughs> I realized I was getting kind of spicy, but you know, I'm passionate about this hobby, you guys, and I'm, I'm worried about it. And I don't have the same passion for it as I did. And I wonder if you guys are feeling that. 
what I was saying when the video cut off was that before our economy in our real life started plummeting, um, we already had issues in the reborn hobby, you know, um, where our market was just like a seesaw and, you know, there was like this domino effect of prices going up. And I don't think that had to happen. It was just something happening within our community, within our hobby. Um, I think it was the, you know, sudden burst of new artists, which I totally get. And I'm one of those, like I'm one of the, um, one of those artists that fell upon this because of the pandemic. Um, and it saved me. I loved it. I loved that it took a lot of time for me while I was quarantined and I really fell in love with the hobby that way. Um, so, you know, I'm part of the problem too, I guess, but the thing that I'm worried about is where this hobby is heading. Where is our community heading? Right now it is not what it used to be. And for those of you who've been in this hobby for a longer time than me, which is probably most of you, what do you think about it? You've probably seen ups and downs and you've probably seen this hobby overcome some big challenges, but I'm worried. I'm worried about the state of things. I'm worried that the wonder and magic of this hobby is like a balloon deflating every single day. And I think people are overwhelmed with their hobby at this point. I think people are rethinking it. I think people are selling off their collection. Um, I think we have more used or pre-loved dolls for sale than we do artist dolls right now. And it's not gonna end my world if I'm out of this hobby or this hobby you know I feel like it pushes me out because I lost interest or it just crumbles on itself I don't know but you know things were looking really exciting we had these silicone dolls that are up and coming getting better and better and more popular I mean that has been happening over the years but silicone dolls have changed everything in this hobby that is an exciting advancement and I just wonder where things are headed I mean I really do so I'd love to get your thoughts I'm sure there were some other things I was thinking about that I feel this hobby is having problems with that I didn't get to, but I think those are the main things. And, you know, um, I think the way we're communicating, it kind of, you know, with each other in this hobby, it's like right now it kind of feels like, I don't want to say artist versus collector, but like we're on different planes. And what I have loved about my perspective is that I am both. I'm a collector, I'm an artist. I love to look at things from both viewpoints. And I think we need more of that, you guys, because it seems like those are being separated more and more. Um, so anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, let me know which outfit I should keep. I just love it. This is such a cute print. And there you go from the UK. And uh, yeah. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, wonderful day, whatever it is. Leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have an amazing week. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.